Welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to do the research analysis for an university exam. After the result is published, the controller of examination would have sent to you the entire college result as a PDF. Sometime department results also will be sent. So you take that PDF and find out where your class result is there. And then identify the page number of your class result then separate it out from the main document. For that, I am going to use PDF splitter using online. PDF splitter and load that particular document here. This one. And then I already know that my result is between the page number 8 to 11 and then press split PDF then download split PDF and then store it download it and store it in the same place that is result from page number 8 to 11 that is my cross results it contains their area result as well as the regular result that we can remove it in uh, Word document or in Excel document later. Then after this, we have to convert it into Excel format for result analysis. But if you directly convert it into Excel format, that appearance will not be good and working with it will be very difficult. For that, I am going to convert it into Word document later. I will export those, those data go to pdf to word converter pdf to word converter pdf to word converter upload your class PDF that is page number 8 to 11 done after conversion download the word file and put it in and put it in the same place like this word file after getting downloaded you put it in the same place that is this one Word document and it looks like this. Okay. After conversion, it looks like this. Now press Control A and copy the entire document and paste it in the new Excel sheet. on the new excel sheet and paste it here it looks like this it contains some extra unwanted tables and then irregular formats and then you have to do the number formatting and then you have to increase the font size and some other adjustment extra spaces you have to remove after doing all this your excel sheet will look like this but before that you want to do the grade points that go to grades to grade points here we are going to convert the grades into grade points say for example the grade B is equivalent to 9 equivalent to 9 find and replace entire B with 9 before that you choose the area choose the area then go to replace option replace replace B with 9B is equal to 8 
be with 8 replace all so all the replacement have been done similarly you replace c by its equivalence number and d by its equivalence number finally you will get the sheet like this for getting the sheet you have to calculate the gpa of the particular student for that i'm going to use some formula here is equal to d8 d8 for student 1 plus e8 and its credit and then subject 3 and its credits subject 4 and its credits and so on divided by total number of credits in that semester after entering this formula i will get the number like this then drag it out to the all student so that all student cgpa will be calculated so after calculating this cgpa we have to do the result analysis for that we are going to another page and then also we have to calculate the number of arrears for that also we are using formula for your example student one how many arrears he is having so a equal to count if from d a to k i if it is u or if it is u a u a means student have not appeared so that also we are considering as arrear so we have to use this formula to calculate the number of arrears of the student and then drag it out to the all student again it will show the number of arrear say for example this fellow is having three arrear three use like that the latter all these zero indicates that student is not the particular student is not having any arrear so total number of all careers count if in the column in the m column equal to zero that will give you the total number of all career student that is 48 and then total fail in the individual subjects like in the first subjects nine students have failed that formula is, is equal to count if that particular row contains u or ua again drag it to the entire row and then it gives fail candidates in the individual subjects total number of failed candidates in individual subjects then uh, subtract this 9 from 48 it gives 39 that is d58 minus d59 that is total pass in that particular subject and drag it to the entire subject again pass percentage that is equal to total number of pass candidates divided by total appeared into 100 percentage that is 81.25 percentage and drag it to the all subject and then in the bottom the subject's name subject 1 to subject 8 now let's plot the graph for this table and then let's choose two tables like total appeared this is total passed then go to insert and then bar chart 2d chart in this graph this blue color shows total number of candidates passed sorry total number of candidates appeared and then red line shows total number of candidates passed similarly for other subjects for that let's add another field like insert select data and then go edit add label range that is subjects then ok again subject 1 to 8 press ok now the subject's name will appear here subject 1 to subject 8 then press this plus button and choose data label it gives the numbers like 48 and 39 48 41 and so on and also we can change this chart title like say past versus appeared post versus 
Deus eu perdo. Similarly, we can do graph for post percentage also. Just percentage we can compare for all the subjects. So choose just percentage alone and then insert again right click go to select data and then edit axis label ranges like from subject 1 to subject 8 press ok and then subject 1 to 8 will appear here and again press ok all the subject 1 to 8 will come in the horizontal axis again press this plus button choose data labels that percentage will appear in the chart that is the first subject is having 81.25 percentage second is having 85.42 percentage and so on again you can change the again you can change the chart title here So like this, we can do the result analysis for an anniversary result for any class. Thank you.